Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Today's video is about men and women communicating. Oh boy, what a topic this is. Let's start with a story. Husband and wife. Wife comes to the husband, says, honey, I want to throw a 10-year-old birthday party for our son. He says, well, gosh, honey, that's great. Why do you want to throw a 10-year-old party for your son when you haven't thrown any parties for him in the past? And she just says, well, I think by the time he's 11, 12, or 13, he's not going to want a party. And this may be our last chance to have a party for him for his birthday. So they agreed to do so. The husband said one condition. I would like to have some of the parents come over after the party and stay maybe for a barbecue. They started talking about the, the logistics of a barbecue after a three-year-old party and thought, hmm, that may be a little bit too much work. So they decided to buy some good quality frozen pizzas, put some toppings on them, and just have snacks and beer and wine and things like that after this children's party. So they agreed with that. And also talking with their son, they said, you know what? You can invite your entire classroom of children as well as some other friends that aren't in your class. And he was so excited. They made all these Pokemon invitations by hand and passed them out two weeks before the party. Here it is one week before the party and the husband and wife are out shopping for decorations, the pizzas, of course, all the toppings and all the libations that go with it. And the next day, wife wakes up, comes out to the living room where the husband's having coffee and says, I am unhappy with doing pizzas. I would rather do a barbecue. He looks at her a little puzzled going, well, honey, we talked about the barbecue versus the pizzas. And we decided it'd be a lot less work. Well, I don't care about the work. It's just way too much money. Hmm. Well, honey, if you'd like, I can reimburse you for the money that you spent on the pizzas. No, that's not going to be a problem. That's not necessary. Wow, have we ever gotten in a conversation like that before, guys? <laughs> yeah, sometimes weekly, monthly, maybe even daily. Starts here, goes here. This is not going to end well, I could tell. This person says to me, the husband that is, says, Patrick, I knew right then and there. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about barbecue versus pizza. I didn't know what the heck to think. So he got to thinking, and he thought, his wife at this point, by the way, went into the kitchen, started making coffee, and he thought, you know, she did say about one last opportunity. And because we only have one kid who's RSVP'd, maybe she's feeling like she's failing our son. So he walked in the kitchen and said, honey, I'm sorry about the pizza and about the mix up. Yes, take responsibility, guys. That's your first, first step. I'm sorry about the pizzas and the mix up between that and the barbecue. And I'm certainly sorry that we spent more money than we would have had it been a barbecue. But I really think we're doing okay having the pizzas after the party because if some of the kids are still hungry, that's easy fix for them. And darling, do we still only have one confirmation from the parents? And she says, yes, it's only been one and we got six days before the party. It dawned on him. She was feeling like a failure, like the party was gonna be a complete flop, a complete bust, and this was her last chance to throw a party for her son, her baby boy, until he grew into manhood. This was her baby boy. It dawned on him. So as he sat there talking to his wife in the kitchen, he said and suggested, you know, honey, several of the kids, we know their parents. Let me reach out to them and see if I can confirmation from them right now. So at least it's not a flop. And she says, oh, that would be so nice of you. He, of course, reached out and found about five or six more kids that were coming, along with several adults to, for the after party who have children, too, who could play with their son and celebrate his birthday. Wow. Did he diffuse that or what? That's a great example, guys, of us listening and not getting emotionally charged when our wives, girlfriends, whoever is getting emotionally charged at us because it feels like a combat, doesn't it, guys? And what do we want to do? Yeah, we want to fight back, but ultimately we head to the garage and not for a beer. We go out there to grab our toolbox because we want to come in and fix it. Hey, where's the leak? 
and she doesn't want to be fixed. Oh my gosh, that'll even create a bigger problem. She's going to get more pissed off at us if we come in and think that she needs repairs. Okay, guys, well, I hope this has helped you in relationships. And I want to, before you click off, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get some great free content on helping you find the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.